the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks Today I'll be reviewing these top 3 Jordan 5 sets to release June 20th Now I also have these Black Tongue Red Midsole Fire Red 5s the metallic fives and the great fives with me because as I'm sure most of you know these are a combination of these three and that's why these are called the top three Jordan fives all right here we are now everyone do me a favor and let me know in the comments how you feeling about these because I feel like this is a type of shoe where you either love it or you hate it all right here's a front view Get close up on this suede because the suede on these is real nice. Now, because these metallics have been worn numerous times and have just been exposed to more overall, the suede on them doesn't appear as buttery as it does on the top threes. But trust me, it's the same exact suede. And as we approach the top of the shoe, we transition from metallic vibes to grape vibes. Got the black lace locks from the grapes in OG style. You see the Nike. Now, 06 grapes and 2013 grapes have the same lace lock, just with the Jumpman on them. But these have Nike like the original 1990 pair does. And you can't help but notice that beautiful Grape Fives tongue they got up there. Here on the side, they have that OG Style 23 from the OG Fire Reds. Which, if you think about it, hasn't even been put on a pair of Fives, period, in that style since 1990. And that's crazy. Over the years, Jordan Brand has retroed a couple of pairs of fives with the 23 on the side. But that 23 was always in this kind of font. Until now. Now for the midsole, what they did was they took this part from the metallic fives and just put it on the fire red fives midsole. And that's how they got this. And here's the other side. Where from here, this midsole is exactly like the fire red fives midsole. Here on the back, we got a little bit of everything. So you got the fire red midsole right here coming around the bottom. White on black Nike Air like the metallics. And the grapes tongue. The back side of the tongue has this upside down list of the three original colorways that inspired these. And the insoles are black with a white Nike Air logo just like the original fire red fives. Here are the soles. Which are pretty much just a fire red sole with the grape jump man at the top. Only difference being these have Nike on the bottom. And these two have Jordan on the bottom because the... 2013 Fire Reds and 06 Grapes didn't get that Nike Air treatment. So they come in this OG5 style box, which is no surprise because we get pretty much every pair of fives in this box. Which isn't a problem. I'm not complaining. I actually like this box. Um, excuse the box condition. Y'all know how that goes. But um, yeah, let me show you the box label. Retail 200. Overall, I don't know how I feel about these. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw them, I thought they were garbage, and I just couldn't wait to get on here and talk about how not fire they were. But after seeing some more pictures and some videos and stuff, they did grow on me, and honestly, they're not that bad. But there's still one thing about these that I just cannot get past, and that's the Grape Fives tongue. Like, the tongue is fire itself, it just doesn't fit with the rest of the shoe. And it's funny because normally I always say I love purple and red together, but with these, I think just because the emerald is in there, it just throws it all off and it just doesn't go well together. No matter how hard I try to convince my eye that it does, it does not. And I don't mean any disrespect to the great fives at all. I love the great fives and always have, but this tongue just should not have been here if you ask me. When it's on this tongue, no problem. When it's on the black grapes tongue, no problem. But just for these, it... it, it like I said, it just doesn't go with the whole rest of the shoe. Now, what I think that they should have done was replace the grapes in this top three Jordan 5 with the other Fire Air 5s that just retro last month. So basically, using the tongue from these instead of the grapes. I think this gray and red tongue would have went way better with this shoe than the purple and emerald did. I think they would have been 10 times better that way. But there seems to be a higher demand for these than I thought. A couple of weeks ago, I put a poll on my Instagram story asking people's thoughts about these, and I got a lot of negative feedback. So I thought they weren't going to sell well. But as we get closer to release date, there actually seems to be a pretty good demand for these. So I actually think they're going to sell out. Now, if you want these and you aren't able to hit for retail, I'm sure there'll be plenty of restocks. So I wouldn't suggest running straight to Goat and StockX and just paying the resale price for them. However, I know restocks have recently been just as competitive as release day. So what do you do? A lot of people have been telling me, man, you know what? I'm going to just pay the resale. I'm tired of trying these restocks. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of all that. So 
I get it. Now, if you're still watching this video at this point, I appreciate you, and I'm going to put you on to a little something. If you really want to better your chances at hitting on restocks, you want to follow Soul Links on Twitter. They also have an app if you prefer to download that. I just personally found following them on Twitter and turning their post notifications on was easier than doing the app thing. But to each his own. Whatever you feel more comfortable doing, do that. But trust me, Soul Links is it for the restocks. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Like I said, I definitely appreciate all of you who watch my videos in full. Because I be checking the stats and a lot of people don't watch the whole thing. But... I ain't tripping, that's their loss. <laughs> As usual, if this video was helpful at all, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and tap that little bell down there so you can be notified about all my content and stay up to date on my early reviews and everything else. Thanks again for watching. Everyone stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you next time.